Hey everyone, Brian Balon here. I want to share with you guys something that happened to me really profound, really great moment uh, in my life, I think. And lots of story behind this, so I'll kind of catch it up, but looking to do something on a daily basis to uh, kind of share with you what's going on uh, in the journey, in my real estate journey, personal journey, etc. But uh, basically what happened was there was a uh, another team leader in a different market center uh, within Keller Williams that had, through so many connections, had reached out to me and had offered me, basically, to explore uh, making about 180000 a year. There was a brand new agent that came on our team, 24 units her first year, second year is doing about 180000 net. And she basically said, we guarantee you that you'll do 24 in your first year, but I'm not in my first year, right? I'm in my second year and halfway through almost. So, but it was tempting, you know, there was a tempting to think about making that much money in 2020 versus building something myself. One of the decisions I came to was that uh, I didn't want to do it. And it was because of, it was, it was more than the money, right? It was, it was more of the purpose, right? And the why. And for me, I believe, and this is what I said, I said, you know, for me, I feel like I have so much untapped potential. So I know myself, I'm self-aware enough to know I haven't even scratched the surface and I've come such a long way from when I started to where I'm at now that I realized, you know, I wanted to continue to explore that and being part of a team, sort of being an employee or a team member will limit me from attaining who that Brian is, that version of Brian, which I believe to be a better and best version of myself. So, uh, so I politely declined and you know, she asked me why, and then I, it just came down to values. It came down to purpose. It came down to contribution. I believe I meant to contribute at a great level, similar to what that team leader is doing. And I want to be my own team leader, create my own uh, team, and, and you know, serve the community. You know, contribute in different ways, do these events, almost the same thing. And it's interesting because she had nothing to say about it. She had no rebuttal, no objection, handler type thing. It was just she understood because she's doing the same thing. And it's hard to convert somebody who thinks that way, who has that mentality, um, to uh, something different that they're not built for. So I'm not the right fit. And I think she realized that, which was I appreciate, which also is an indication of a good leader. It was just good to have that conversation. But ultimately what it did is it proved to me that this isn't, I'm not doing this for money. You know, I could easily next year just grind it out, right? All the systems are taken care of, all the process. I probably could do more than 180,000 in that team but I decided not to because it's more than money, it's purpose, right? It's the why, it's the, the ability to create my own uh, destiny or what I believe I'm called to do. So, so anyway, if you're out there, you know, you're thinking, you're discouraged, or maybe you're considering what's the next best opportunity, you've gotta know why you're doing what you're doing. Stick to your why, believe in your why, and believe in yourself, um, and do the things that you need to do to gain the confidence in your why and live it out, you know, and opportunities will come as you stay a hold of this dream or this vision that you have for your life, you know, and you get success, things will happen and come your way that uh, will be pleasant, but will sort of be tests. In this case, it kind of became a reminder of what's most important to me and sort of an affirmation that I'm doing this. This is for a greater purpose than just monetary gain. So I hope you guys are doing well. We'll catch you next video.